Hi guys, and we now have another Surface IT video because I finally fixed the problem. I'll show you what I was doing wrong. Uh, here we go. So if I choose the resolutions here, uh, you will see that there is no option for this 768 resolution that would mean that applications would work on the television. Now, I was thinking about this, starting to decide whether it was something as stupid as unplugging a cable, unplugging it back in, and so on. And when I checked the television, I noticed that, uh, at the moment, I am on uh, HDMI 2. So I thought, why don't I try uh, HDMI 1 and uh, see if that's any better for some reason. So let's try that and see what happens. Okay, so I've now plugged the cable into HDMI 1. So we'll go to HDMI 1, and what we should see, hopefully, when the screen attaches, now it's at 720p, so I'm still getting a problem that the resolution is lower than 768, but if I go to the options on resolution, I can now choose 20, 1024 by 768, which I will do. Uh, this is very hard to do with one hand. But now, as you can see, the Surface RT has borders on it uh, because it's reverted to a new resolution. But you can see that it covers the whole of the television. And now, if I go to an application, it works. So I've solved the problem. And I can only say and apologise that this is not technically me being an idiot, but the cable was presumably plugged into the wrong uh, HDMI slot which couldn't cope with that resolution, possibly. Uh, but now everything is working fine, and I can go to any application, and it looks as if it's going to open it up fine, which is absolutely wonderful and fantastic and excellent. If I go back to the desktop now, uh, load up that, and then load up this video, which is what I wanted to do in the first place, was to play videos on the television, you can now see that it works. So, well done, Microsoft. It wasn't necessarily all your fault. Uh, it was my fault uh, in some respects. So I can accept blame for it and thank you for all the suggestions you gave me because eventually I worked it out. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again in another Surface RT video because it now works.